as someone who lived and breathed and experienced from November 17th to the 20th, that was historic in many respects. It wasn't just historic for Western New York, it was historic for the state. It was the record amount of snow New York State ever received in a 24-hour period. So uh, we lived through that. Uh, I have an incredible team here. They all survived the experience. We were camped out for five days uh, trying to respond in Buffalo and Western New York. What happened? My hometown was slammed. Buffalo Bills, a lot of drama back then about will the Bills be able to get out and get to the game that got moved. So uh, we were intensely involved. And the point being is that we are experienced. Uh, I was experienced before, but that was next level. So we really, uh, having six inches of snow per hour, think about that. Uh, we had you know, over 80 inches of snow. We had six feet of snow up in Watertown. And so that was one for the ages. So, but we, are, we were prepared, we knew what we were doing. And I think that gives a lot of people comfort to know when you have the, the best team assembled in the entire country to respond to winter events, storm events, any kind of storm, uh, sitting right here with Catherine Garcia, Jackie Bray, and everyone else who's so involved in this, uh, head of the DOT, all those roads that were getting cleared, um, Marie Therese Dominguez. So, so as someone from Buffalo, I'm not a stranger to this. Upstate, we're not, it's no stranger, to, we're not a stranger to this, but uh, it's all about repositioning everything, all your resources, getting them on the ground before you end up in a difficult situation. We're already bringing individuals from Long Island up and also coordinating the roads, keeping people off early. I think that's what saved lives in Western New York, our decision and some question it at the moment. You know, already saying that we want trucks off the thruway and having travel bans in place early because you have to be ready to handle the worst case scenario. So uh, we're starting to see snow this afternoon through Saturday. Heaviest will hit this afternoon, but you know, we're, different areas of the state will be affected as you can see. Uh, 12 inches in central New York, 18 inches of snow, perhaps up in the snow country. They're welcoming it, they want it there, but you know, it's gonna hit during the commuting area. And that's going to be tough. Uh, our peak, our peak is going to be about one to two inches per hour Thursday night through Friday, um, wintry mix. But it's going to be again a statewide effect. What's concerning are the winds. The winds. Uh, this is something we are spared in Western New York. We just had incredible volume of snow coming down, and you couldn't keep up with it. You couldn't. It was almost impossible to keep the roads clear, but they did. But when you have the wind event coupled with this, whether it's the rain downstate or snow upstate, that's when you have the vulnerable situation where power lines can come down. And power lines come down, it's a danger to human life, people are on the roads, uh, as well as keeping, you know, shutting down power. And when it's this bitter cold, the scariest thing for a mom with little kids, as happened to me, is to be sitting there with no heat in your house in the middle of winter. So, so we're watching for, the, for that, we've, uh, again, have utility crews all set already on the ground, ready to respond as quickly as possible. So, so we also have a lake effect snow event separate from this, this one. Uh, that'll be one to two feet of snow off of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. And so we'll be sharing more information on that. But we were successful last time because people got off the roads, the plows did their jobs, and we were back to normal within an incredibly uh, fast amount of time. So we just wanna make sure people heed all of our warnings, and again, having people ready, because we have all the plows, tow trucks, loaders, snowblowers, we got plenty of gas, plenty of fuel, we got plenty of salt. Uh, we are ready to respond uh, up to 6,500 utility workers, which really are uh, become frontline workers when you're desperately trying to get the heat back on the house. So so we'll be ready for this. New York is ready, as we always are, but uh, we're ready, you know, bring it on. Uh, Mother Nature, just keep at it. I started my first week on the job with a hurricane and uh, closing out this year with, a, with another winter storm, but uh, it's nothing we can't handle, right team? All right, that's what I like to hear.